Hi guys, today I'll show you the best small kitchen appliances that I've used and reviewed. These are perfect for yourself or as gifts. Every product on this list is useful and will make cooking easier and faster. In the description section below this video, I'll put links to my reviews of these products and links to buy them if you're interested. Let's start with blenders, the most used appliance in kitchens. The budget pick is this Nutribullet 1200 watt blender. You can get the blender alone or the combo with two smoothie cups. Both come with a tamper for the blender, which is essential when making almond butter or very thick drinks. For the price, it performed surprisingly well, especially the vegetable smoothie. The high-end pick is the Vitamix 5200. It's an old model and probably the most used appliance in my kitchen. I've used it for so many years without any issues. It's a commercial blender, so it's very powerful and reliable. The silky smooth texture of anything you blend in this Vitamix is hard to beat. I've made thick dosha batter from soaked lentils in less than two minutes. Coconut chutney, hot soup, frozen fruit smoothies, vegetable smoothies, almond butter. You can put anything in here and it'll blend well. Of course, it's expensive. The jar is very tall, so it won't fit under your cabinets. There are other models with shorter jars, like the Explorian, that are good alternatives. Food processor. My all-time favorite is this Cuisinart 14 cup. This is another reliable model that has lasted for many years without issues. It really makes prepping vegetables quick and easy. If you leave this on your counter, you'll definitely eat healthier. It's a time saver for chopping garlic, onions, and tomatoes. Comes with a slicing disc and a shredding disc. Perfectly sliced vegetables. Shredded cabbage for coleslaw. Carrots for carrot cake. Smooth hummus. And amazingly quick and absolutely perfect buttery pie dough. I also like the Braun 12 cup, which comes with many attachments and all of them work well except the juicer. While it works, it's too much manual effort. I love the chopper attachment, for smaller quantities of food like nuts. The Cuisinart 14 cup does not come with a small container. The slicing and shredding attachments on this brawn worked nicely. The dough came out perfectly and extremely fast. The inexpensive pick is this Hamilton Beach 8 cup food processor. It chopped, shredded, sliced, and made dough. It's not perfect, but if you don't need a heavy-duty food processor, it'll work. The mini Cuisinart food processor is three cups and very useful for chopping small amounts of onions, garlic, etc. Pressure cooker. The Instant Pot Duo. It has a lot of programs, is reasonably priced, and will fit most people's needs. You can get newer models with more programs if you plan on using them, but most of you won't. 6 quart is a good size for a family of 4. 3 quart is good for one or two people. I use the 3 quart more often than the 6 quart. That's because I cook often and in smaller quantities. If you meal prep or cook meals that'll last you a few days, then definitely get the 6 quart. I use this mini a few times a week and have made lentils, pulled pork, chicken, eggs, potatoes, stews, really anything. If you cook a lot and want your meals done quicker, definitely get an Instant Pot. It's easier to use than a stovetop pressure cooker and takes the guesswork out of when food is done. Juicer. This Breville was one of my first reviews. It works well, has a big feed chute, so you can juice whole fruits and vegetables. It juices fast and is not hard to clean. If you just want to juice quickly and go, this Breville is perfect. If you juice a lot of greens though, get a masticating juicer like this Omega. The Breville is a centrifugal juicer and not great for leafy greens. The Omega will leave pulp dry and is especially good for kale, really any greens. You will have to cut up fruits and vegetables into smaller pieces and it juices slowly. However, there's hardly any waste, so you're getting the most out of this juicer. Another positive is that it's quiet. The Breville, like most centrifugal juicers, is loud. With this Omega, you can also make nut butter and even pasta. There are five pasta nozzles included. This Omega is more expensive than the Breville, but it does a lot more. My budget pick is this Hamilton Beach Big Mouth Juicer. It has a large feed chute, processed everything I throw in there. There's a large pulp bin, so you don't have to keep emptying it out while juicing. It's affordable for those of you who don't want to spend so much money, especially when buying your first juicer. 
Cleaning is not bad either. With any juicer, the key is to clean right after juicing. That's easiest and fastest. Stand mixer. Everyone wants a KitchenAid, and I have reviewed many models. They are beautiful and come in every color you'd want. They've also been around for a long time and generally last for decades, so that is the appeal. While all the models I've reviewed worked well, the most popular size is the 5 quart tilt head. It does everything you need it to. Cookie dough, pizza dough, whipped cream, etc. Now if you do a lot of baking and need a bigger size, the 6 quart or 7 quart are good options. They have the bowl lift design instead of the tilt head. If you're getting these larger models, make sure you have the space for them because they won't fit under your kitchen cabinets. With the head up, the 5 quart won't either. If space is an issue, consider the mini at 3.5 quarts. Believe it or not, there are other stand mixer brands out there. The Bosch is one I would recommend. You can read comments on my review from people who've owned a Bosch for many years. The bowl is 6.5 quarts, so it's huge and can fit a large amount of bread dough and cookie dough. It also processes everything really quickly. There are two beaters that go around the bowl and catches all the ingredients. It's not a tall mixer, so there's no issue with fitting under cabinets. Sometimes you just need to pulse instead of running it, and that's enough to combine ingredients. There is more speed control with the KitchenAid, which will take longer to mix in each ingredient. As for the noise level, it is not the high-pitched whining noise of a KitchenAid. It's more dull. It also weighs less than the KitchenAid. The budget pick is this Hamilton Beach 6-speed stand mixer. It'll make cookie dough, whipped cream, and pizza dough. The head will move a little at higher speeds, but it'll do the job. The best part is you won't give yourself a hernia while moving it because it's lightweight at only 11 pounds, while KitchenAids are over 20. Coffee maker. Cuisinart 12 cup or 14 cup. They're reliable, standard coffee machines. To brew four cups of coffee, it'll take about five minutes. If you just want a hot cup of coffee, these are great units. For lightning fast coffee and convenience, a Keurig is a good option. I've reviewed many models. The K Classic has lasted many years and I still use it. You can use pods or your own ground coffee with the reusable filter. The K Duo Plus model gives you the option of brewing a single cup or 12 cups in the thermal carafe. It's slim and you can place the water reservoir in the back or the side. For a budget option, the Presto 12 cup stainless steel coffee maker. It's basic. Pour in water, put coffee in the basket, cover it and plug in. It's a percolator. There's a heating element at the bottom of the unit. The water inside is boiled and cycled through the coffee a few times. This is probably the only option if you want an all stainless steel unit. Just about every other coffee maker has plastic parts. This Presto has no plastic smell. All you smell is coffee. Air fryer or air fryer toaster oven. So an air fryer is like a mini convection oven. It cooks evenly and quickly. My pick is the Ninja Foodie XL Pro air fry oven. I use this often and it's great when you don't want to turn on a standard large oven. It also replaces your toaster. I've toasted bread, bagels, English muffins, roasted whole chicken, chicken breasts, baked fish, broiled fish, reheated fried chicken. Two pizzas can be cooked at the same time. You can do so much with this unit and I like that it's big so you can cook for four people. A whole chicken and vegetables can be cooked at the same time. The one drawback is the size. It weighs 33 pounds. Since it's so big you might not have the counter space. I got the steel cart to put the Ninja on and it fits perfectly. The basket and whichever trays I'm not using goes on the bottom shelf. My kitchen is small so this was the only option. If you just want an air fryer that takes up less space then get the Philips. It weighs only 10 pounds. You can make a smaller quantity of food, it cooks fast, and you'll get great results using hardly any oil. It doesn't heat up your kitchen and cleanup is not difficult. If you want to buy any of the products seen in this video, I'll put links to them right below in the description section. Reviews of all the products in this video are in the description section. So those are all my picks and I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions or comments, 
leave them down below. Click on that subscribe button, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.